What do you think, huh? He's a big one. He's a big one. Hey, big guy. Hi, Saddle. Good boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? He's big. Yeah. He's growing every day. He looks almost full size now. Yeah. <laughs> well, he definitely looks bigger than he did when we went he out on that trip. Eventually. That's crazy. Gotta enjoy those puppy hoods while they last. Sit, sit, <laughs> sit, stay, wait, just wait, just wait, <laughs> stay. That's okay, we can walk with you, that'll help out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cause she'll dip in and out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, look at those kisses. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh no, we're still good. Oh, I'll go get him. Oh. <laughs> get him, girl. Get him. <laughs> yeah, he plays well with the little ones for, for a bigger guy. It'll be good for him. Legs all getting all tangled up. Oh, hold on. Which way? Which way? There it is. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think they're going anywhere. <laughs> Here, come on. <laughs> She'll keep them in check for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yep. Yeah. Might have to pause her. <laughs> pause her on this. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Good boy. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more to go. One more to go. There you go. Oh. Well, I hope you guys have a good time there. I'll definitely have to try to remember the place before. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Does he bite? Oh no, she's friendly. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, Poppy. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Say bye. <laughs> Good girl. Come on. Good girl. She's not around kids often? No. Oh. Be good to start with family members if you have any. No. Friends. I feel like he'd be okay. It's pretty gentle natured. She's gonna go get him. You gonna go get him? <laughs> like Teddy <laughs> likes older kids. Oh. Older kids, they must have did something to Teddy when he was younger, because I'll tell you. Oh. Turned into a little terror. This is okay. Maybe a little unsure. His tail's down. No clue the one who walked over there. Look how close he is here. There you go. Good boy. See? <laughs> Turned out to be a good <laughs> Ran out of leash. Hey, he can have fun with her. Aww. Hi, Bear. You gotta go in. Aww. Oh, what nice. Aww. Look at him. Mr. Romeo over here. Mr. Romeo. Aww. You guys have a good one. Yeah, you too. Okay. Bear. Get away from me, Poppy. Come here. Good girl. Good way. So this is Poppy. Poppy? Yeah. Hi, Poppy. Is that yours? <laughs> oh, no, she's the boarding dog. She's, uh, she's very still... shy at first, and then she's very friendly, so I'm... she could use the social work, too. And I'm uh, still thinking about boarding her. Oh, yeah, definitely let me know how that goes. Good uh, girl. I, I need to talk to Jackie again and have her schedule, because I definitely there's a lot. <laughs> Come on, Poppy. There you go. Oh, you say hi. Good girl. Very good. And set. Good. Good girl. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you doing? This is Poppy. There you go. Good. Poppy is one of students. So cool. She could use some social work too. So she's a, she's still a puppy as well. I believe under a year old. Yeah. She's a dude. Oh, she's a poodle. So she's going to get pretty big. Maybe a little. Good girl. Hey. Good girl. So we're gonna just first start by letting them kind of get to know each other and run around, have some free time. If you need a longer lead, I have uh, my 30 foot in the car. I bought this. The only reason why I don't do it because she's so rambunctious, it takes me forever just to. <laughs> no problem. We'll work on that. Uh, we'll work on just some some basic re redirection and stability today, and then some uh, some walking work if we have time. Okay. 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 Oh, good potty. So how have these two been getting along? Um, they, Rainy is usually like a gentle <laughs> playmate. I think uh, their temperaments are a little different. Okay. Willow is very, very rambunctious. She wants <laughs> to, yeah. 
like this. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah, everybody seems to be doing well. Her energy level is definitely cut down already. Well, she had a uh, she's a Uh oh. Oh. Since then, she's been minding me better. <laughs> uh, I try not to get like, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's. It's always, it's good to be stern and have boundaries, but it's it's one thing when you want your dog to listen to you because they love you, and another thing if they listen to you because they're afraid of you, you know? Both both are effective, you know? Uh, it's just whatever you prefer and what your personality goes. Uh, sometimes the negative consequences of yelling at them too much will cause more traumatic issues and insecurities. Um, Worst case, they can become reactive towards you and start fighting back if you keep pushing buttons too much. So that's why I definitely prefer the more positive approach to training as opposed to negatives. Um, I think this uh, but if it's just over. <laughs> <laughs> if it's just a you know one-time incident, it's not nothing to be concerned about. Go ahead, and let her loose. Yeah, let her run and play with her. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I guess we had to go potty. <laughs> there you go. So she's just barking for her attention now. We'll see how she reacts to it. Yeah, she's, I noticed that the <laughs> Probably just trying to engage and get them to play. I'll have to, I'll have to see. But usually with her, it's just kind of to get them engaged and there hasn't ever been anything to be negative. Go ahead and uh, yeah, try to keep the leash loose when they want to engage. I'm only stopping her when people are too far. I'm not doing this up. There we go. <laughs> So far, everybody's doing really good about being being polite and buying each other space. You don't have a fenced in backyard, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say it would make that it a little bit nice. easier. It's okay. My husband asked me if I wanted one of those, but our backyard is um, downhill. Ah. Uh. And muddy, or it could get muddy. Mm -hmm. You have to think about letting them loose, right? <laughs> yeah, just so we don't get tangled up, but it's okay. So everybody's been doing well. Nobody really wants to kind of hard engage yet, except for maybe this one. And everybody's just kind of buying time and space back and forth, which is good. Um, you especially want to let them kind of be able to free roam in and out. Um, so that way they don't feel forced into a, an uncomfortable situation. And it also lets you gauge, you know, how, how much they want to engage socially in. So Rainy's already checked out, which is fine. <laughs> Very good. There you go. So yeah, just let her, yeah, let her, let her go when she does that. Because if we stop her, that's gonna be what happens. So she feels like she's, she's being restrained. Yeah. So go ahead and let her try to play with her and run after her and things like that. <laughs> you know, maybe they wanted to go back inside. Here, let's try inside for a bit so we can have them off leash. And then as soon as we get them settled, we'll come back out here for the drills. Just because it looks like they want to engage um, and it'll just be less leash work. Are you sure? I can... Yeah, no, 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 I'm constantly mopping. Go ahead, go ahead. There you go. So you can kind of see how much the leash was just kind of holding her back a little bit. Now she can kind of run around and jump. There, that's the will I remember. There you go, girl. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hello, I know. The day that I told you, I was like not had it. <laughs> I think it was that evening, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then I talked to Jackie, and Jackie 
<laughs> so you can kind of see how much she wants to engage and how much she's not ready yet. <laughs> so this one is the only one that's like really wanting to play. That one's giving good proper corrections, which is good for puppies, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And what we're looking for there is that disengagement, right? right? She's like, I don't want to play with this one, or this one doesn't want to play with me, so who can I play with? You know, and that's what we needed to get through with, you know, your older one, but because your older one is older, and you know. And also so small. Yeah. This one doesn't listen as well, but because this one is more persistent too, and you know more intense about it, it makes it easier for this one to pick up on the social cues. So yeah, no, everything looks to be pretty good and normal. I noticed her <laughs> like growling at her and oh. I put her in her place. Mm -hmm. it was... It's just their way of correcting them and you know letting her know for space, you know. And this one just, this one just wants to play and wants that engagement. You know? As soon as Poppy feels comfortable, she'll start playing and engaging her. It just takes her a little bit sometime. Good girl. Yes, good job. No jumping. Willow's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get Willow to stop? Because she'll keep going after me. What you want to do is you want her to continue getting her, giving her the corrections, and then after she doesn't listen for a while, then redirect with like treats to kind of give the other one a break. But just let it go for for now. Thank you. Good. So you kind of see there. It's another way that you can tell that it's nothing super aggressive or anything because of how easy she can be redirected and distracted. It's just when she's focused on just the one thing of trying to get them to play, um, it's it just seems intense, right? There you go, good. Yeah, and then we'll just let them go again. We'll, Cause we wanna try to get her to learn. Very good, good down. <laughs> she, she loves her treats, I'll have to warn you. <laughs> um, so we really want her to learn from her peers. So that's you know, why we want them to continue to give those corrections um, in hopes that it gets through. But we also wanna help out by giving them that kind of break. And just, and then just letting them go. Good, good girl. So that intense like wrestling around, <laughs> you just let them Kind of get, do that. Yeah, you. So long as nobody is hurt and you give the brakes adequate, that way um, this one's not getting overwhelmed or too annoyed to the point that they get, you know, aggressively defensive. Yeah. Then it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Good. There you go. It went on for several hours. Mm -hmm. Especially with, with puppy energy, you know, we'll have to just let them engage and then disengage with the break and then re-engage and then disengage with the break. Very good. But don't you think that Poppy, come. I think it's calm down now that TJ and Poppy are here. Good job. Good girl. Good job. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come here. <laughs> Poppy's like, yes, <laughs> Yeah, she's a boarding pup. How long is Poppy staying? Either two or three weeks, I can't remember. She's been with me for about a week now. Good job. Would you like a treat too? Does she have any allergies? Okay. She has colitis or something. Gotcha. This is just freeze dried salmon. Perfect. Oh, look at that. There you go. Good. Good job. Very good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it just makes it having something accessible is the thing, you know? Yeah, that'll work. Hi. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you know why I bought so many of those Very good, Sid. Good. So she wants to, so now that they're kind of calmed down and they got that first initial bout in, 
Now we're gonna let them engage again, and then when she, after she gives a cue, um, we're gonna try to disengage them again. Okay, so she's interested, she's smelling, she's good. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> good sit. Good sit. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, good sit. Oh, and good sit, look at you. You don't no. do like a couple of days of like 40, do you? Unfortunately, no. It's usually a two to three weeks. I think we've had it one week before, but I'm not sure. Do you know anybody that's really good um, order? Um, I was thinking about taking her to the vet. I have to be out of town a couple of times. So. Unfortunately, no. I usually recommend daycare centers. Mm -hmm. uh, so she might be a good fit for a, a place like Dogtopia where there's a bunch of little dogs because they separate them by room size, uh, the rooms by dog size. Uh, so she would be in like what they call the toy box or the small dog room with a bunch of little ones. So that, I think that would be a great, great, yeah, great way for her to get that energy out. And I'm sure she'll find a playmate and she'll be supervised and you'll know that they're all vaccinated and things like that. Um, and then four paws is another another good one as well that I have friends that work at. So both of those are good. Mm -hmm. Both of those are really good facilities. I just recommend checking them both out so you can kind of weigh your pros and cons and see what you like and things like that. <laughs> good girl. We have Dogtopia in Oregon. Oh yeah, Dogtopia is good because it's nationwide and once you do like their evaluation in one location, if you travel a lot, you can actually, you know, leave them at that location in another state too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is that where you take them? I take Rainy to a local place. Mm -hmm. But Dogtopia has mixed reviews in Portland. So. It always depends on the facility. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know, you're just like... <laughs> She's like, treat? <laughs> oh. Sorry. So how old is Poppy? I believe she's eight months, I'm not yeah. sure. She's still really young. He has sharp teeth. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. She's pretty gentle. So if you don't, if you uh, be less apprehensive and slower, it'll help to avoid her snapping. Oh, there, he is. there you go. So now that they're engaging again, we're gonna give her a moment to disengage. <gasps> That's well, actually good too. No. No, it's just one moment. Because now I can almost tell if Rainy is kind of playing too or at least still correcting you know and the way that you can tell is if she did if she re-engages or if she just continues to make space so that's why you have to give it a little bit right so now she's actually biting her back which is good right she's still kind of running away but she's chasing and she enjoys that but she you can see more that she's kind of holding her ground she's putting her paw up so I would almost consider this good play. <laughs> and you are. <laughs> She's like, we're still here. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing this. Oh. Get down. Nope. So bring the bring the hand or the treat down because there you go. Your, the attention is being forced too high, so you want to bring it low. <laughs> yeah, no, they're doing good. I would actually consider this good play. <laughs> All right. I thought you were going to be the playful one. You're too focused on treats. See? There you go. That's very good. Let me ask you something. What is your role in this thing? I know, right? <laughs> oh, good girl. <laughs> Poppy, <laughs> come here. <laughs> She's so fun. <laughs> she just wants the treats. <laughs> Aww. So this is actually a really good play for the two of them. Poppy, come. Good, there you go. <laughs> and what you want to look for is uh, changes in intonation and intensity, especially if you're unsure. Very good. And that was perfect there. They just kind of took a break on their own to come and get a treat, which is really good. Poppy, you are so greedy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she did have a session earlier this morning, so. 
<laughs> yeah. We usually do formal drills in the morning and in the evenings, and then the social work in the middle. But that was really good. You can kind of see there they disengaged all, all on her own. Yeah, and if you're, like I said, if because it can look intense, um, you want to really read into what they're both doing instead of what you're apprehensive of, right? So if they're continuing to kind of engage with one another, usually that's a good sign. If one just keeps like backing up and backing up and, you know, running scared and wants to disengage, then that's a good time to break it up, right? This is where Rainy doesn't... The other dog, she doesn't do this. It's because the other dogs might not be as intense with her, or she might not feel as safe to because this one's a smaller one, or as friendly. And um, the verbalizations are okay. You just want to watch for, like they said, um, changes in intonation or intensity. But this right now is really good. Because <laughs> it looks like they're, you know, really going at it, but they're, they're actually pulling punches really good too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's another way that you can clearly tell too, right? It's just how how much uh, how easy it is that you can get them to disengage. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so good. Are you having fun? And that's why it's important, especially at first with the shyer dogs, that you give the more confident slash intense dog um, a time to almost let them know that they just want to play even though they're being so intense. And so the initial parts, the corrections, were just because she was you know, definitely overwhelmed and not used to it. But then she can kind of see like, oh, well, it's, it's nothing dangerous. You know, she just wants to play and then she can engage properly in that instead of being scared. Mm -hmm. There you go, see? <laughs> Good, there you go. <laughs> All I would do is just ignore her for an extended period of time and not give her treats and then she'll try to disengage too. <laughs> so to stop them, you just put your hand down. Or we'll call them. Rainy, Willow, 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 so all I'm doing there is just really trying to get in between for a minute. <laughs> there you go. Good. 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 There you go. There you go. Good. Oh. <laughs> and that's another way that you can tell too that it's good play is that even, <laughs> even though it seems intense, she stops. She doesn't continue um, pushing her away as soon as she listens. Yeah. <laughs> Willow, Willow, Willow. <laughs> there you go. Now try to get her. There you go. So, so now that she's disengaged, we can get Willow a little bit more. So with Willow, because she's the one instigating, you have to really try to get them. Hey, it's a lot easier. Whereas with these two, with Willow, I have to actually get physically in front of her nose to help disrupt that, that focus. So like really breaking that fixation in front and then going back in again. Okay, good, perfect. And they'll get better as you get more practice with it. A lot of times people will always just try verbal first and that's the hardest thing, especially if they're fixated on playing and they have their playmate right in front. Um, it's really hard for them to, you know, to hear you focus wise. They might be able to hear you physically because you're right there, but attention wise, it's not there. Okay, good, good girl. Good girl. Come here, Poppy. <laughs> come here. Come here, Poppy. Poppy, come. Poppy. Good girl. It's a nice game. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweet girl. Good sit. Oh, she thought about it. She got distracted. Sit. 
Good girl. Hi. Good girl. Good down. Good. She can shake. I yeah. Did you teach her that? No. Willow can shake. Willow. Sit. Willow, sit. Shake. Good girl. Good Very girl. good. <laughs> Willow. Good girl. <laughs> She's going to be a quick learner, so. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with puppies, you're usually just contesting with energy more than anything else. There you go. Good. So now that she's going to engage with Poppy for a bit, let's try to hold off on the treats. Dang. Aw. That's okay. <laughs> Good girl. We'll see if she goes to get Poppy again. Yep, just completely ignore her for a while, and that'll help her to kind of disengage with the treats. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You see, that this one just stepped into that one that time, right? Instead of moving away. Because hmm? usually this one is the one that has to like step in and and start things or the engagement, but you can kind of clearly tell now this one is engaging too. Rainy, the red one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Willow, Willow. So you have to get in there like physically? There you go. Good, good. Good, Willow, sit. Can you, can you sit? <laughs> good girl, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get them to just stop? If you want them to stop for an extended period, it just takes a lot of practice and discipline. Uh, that's why I had the placement mats out there for practice. Usually at first, especially if this is like their extended time like engaging and they're still playing, getting all that energy out and then having them short pause and then short pause and then extended pause. So either having them on um, the leash for a minute break and then releasing them off of the leash to go and play again. And that's what we were gonna practice outside too, is just them getting on there and waiting for their turn and then you releasing them off to go back and re-engage. And we can do that in here too. We just need a, we just have a, a leash or something. Either way is fine. Yeah. You want me to move the table or something? Oh, oh no, you're good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So just get one on. Yep. Yeah. Just get one on Poppy. Or on, oh gosh, on Willow. <laughs> there you go. And we'll just hold. And now all I'll do, and since Rainy probably doesn't need one, but if you wanted to, you can. See? So now all I'm just doing is just having her on a physical break. We'll let us see if she wants to engage here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so giving her some time. Well, one sec, one sec. What, what you're looking for, right now, there you go, is the disengage. Now, Willow, before the re-engage. Willow, sit, wait. Wait. Good. <laughs> Here you go, ready. <laughs> oh, you got her to roll over. <laughs> Wait. Willow, yes, good weight, good job. She got an itch, but that was good. She stopped herself and then she refocused and sat after this itch here. <laughs> there we go. Yes, good girl. I tried to teach her to roll over, but I couldn't. That's why she's Aww. It depends on the pup. Usually getting them to do it while they're lying down and slowly rotating will help. Good job. 
Okay. So now having her engage with me. There you go. Oh yes, you want the treats. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay, go ahead. There you go. Good. So helping them first and then when they actually wait on their own, then releasing them. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. There you go. Oh, here, let's go ahead and take this off there again. I feel like it's gonna become the toy here. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get that out of there. There you go. So we'll let her kind of engage with Poppy. There you go. <laughs> Yep, just ignore her, because she'll keep going back to you for treats. There you go. See how she'll disengage now? Good girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good, there you go. <laughs> so now just ignore her completely, um, even when she starts jumping. Because it's just engagement that she's looking for. Good job. <laughs> Hi, good job. You having fun? Mm -hmm. Another obvious way, um, especially if you're unsure if they're being too rough, is the other pup will yelp if one is being too rough or bites down too hard. And that's the, actually a good social cue for them to learn too, because that yelp will let the other one know that they've been too rough and to disengage at least temporarily. I don't think we've heard yet. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you kind of see now that we've ignored Poppy for a while longer, she wants to kind of engage too now. No, she's just unsure at first, and then she gets comfortable and wants to play. So now she's displaying the same behaviors as this one did when they wanted to play with the barking and wanting to initialize. See? <laughs> <laughs> and so now, now Willow's getting the other end of it, right? She's like, wait a second. No, I'm not sure. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. See, so you always have that kind of moment, especially with dogs that are, are either shy or under socialized, when it's like, are they, are they safe? You know, are they barking at me for a good reason? Um, I'm, let me feel that out first. And that was good. That was actually really good to see on her end, too. Because you always see her on the on the giving end of it with the other one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. And so now we'll all just kind of disengage from the T word for a while and, and let them just all kind of run around and play, shake turns. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I had some in the car on the way in there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she likes ice. <laughs> now, now that you've gotten Willow's attention back, it's okay. So this is going to be the hard part, right? So instead of adding extra things to kind of get her excited and things, oh, give her ice. yeah, just do one cue. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll put. Okay, that works. And just be calm with it, right? 
So instead of constant movements of telling her off or down, do one movement and then have an expectation for her. So a lot of it, especially with puppies, is learning to control yourself. Many times we accidentally hype them up more by trying to get them to stop. You know, we see a lot of no, down, off. It should just be down. Yeah. Because like, once again, we're, we're working with excitement. If you're doing all of this and the moving and the, and the verbal cues, you're almost adding to the excitement. Whereas if you just do this down. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I noticed with you is that you help them. Just relax. Yeah. And, and we, we relax too. <laughs> <laughs> A human being relaxed. <laughs> Very good. There you go. Are you from this area? I originally grew up in Fairfax, and we moved to, um, to Fredericksburg about five or six years ago oh. now. <laughs> oh, we're going to make a mess. Yes, we can. She's make... a good swimmer. <laughs> oh, yeah, she loves the baby pool. Oh, really? we, we take her to the dog park, and uh, oh. they have the baby pool there. Can they swim? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe we'll take them to the pool. We've got a big pool out there. <laughs> Some dogs take to water more than others, but you never know until you try. She, I went hiking with her, oh. and it was really, really hot out, and the water was very, very cold. That they must have been nice. Aww. I think she really likes standing in the river. Yeah, it's a great way for them to cool down. So because they've been drinking and playing a lot, I would definitely, yeah, I would definitely recommend, especially with these puppies here, <laughs> yeah. just sucking down water. It's gonna, it's gonna come out the other end here shortly. <laughs> come here, Willow. Good girl. <laughs> oh, she heard me. That's fine. Willow. <laughs> Almost had her. Here, let me put this down for a moment. We'll get them over here so they can they can play. And if you don't mind, I'll grab uh, I'll grab my longer lead for Rainy because I feel like she's probably the most um, least likely to run off. <laughs> Always had a longer lead. Yeah. Would you mind holding this for me? Please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, you can play cameraman. It just points. Me out. This is a GoPro? Yeah. What? What is a GoPro? This is a GoPro on a gimbal. It's on a gimbal even though it's a GoPro because I have a, uh, an anamorphic lens on it. What is that? It? Um, it squeezes the picture so I can stretch it out in post. Um, but I have to turn off the stabilization because the visual stabilization messes up the picture because uh, <laughs> of reasons. <laughs> so I have to have it on the gimbal to make it smooth. This is a gimbal? Yep. I need more variety. Yeah, the normal GoPro with that, you know, just the way that it is would be perfect for you guys. Oh, thank you. I like them. It's easy to use. The only problem I've had with it so far is just the overheating in the summer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but that's with like almost any camera though. <laughs> like when it's 90 or 100 degrees out. Here you go, I'm gonna put this over you. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> no. I need one of these for the beach. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they are very helpful. She loves running. <laughs> <laughs> we might have had to put it on uh, this little one now too. She's got the zoomies now too. <laughs> I could take her off these. That's you know? yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Here, I'll help. There you go. <laughs> Here, I could probably do the same to make it easier. <laughs> Hello. There you go. I don't think they're gonna go with you. <laughs> Maybe. I take that back. <laughs> yes, good girl. Especially for the treats, this one will come back to you. <laughs> good girl. Come on, come. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's their place. I use this to have um, placement exercises, having them sit, stay, and then release off of it. Just because it's a, a platform, um, it gives them like a physical target to be on and off of. Up, up. Good. Up. Sit. Good, stay. She's not distracted by the crumbs. And then, okay, come here. Good. And that's it. So getting them on, having them wait, and then asking them off. Good job. <laughs> oh, careful, yeah. <laughs> oh, there they go. You might be fine with rating. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> So you can kind of see now the, the verbals, even though it sounds deep and growly, it is just more of like the play sounds than anything else. <laughs> you said she was shy before? Mm -hmm. And then once she warms up, she's like very playful. Mm -hmm. It just takes her a little bit. She was a little extra distracted this time because of the treats, but it's fine. Good girl. Good job, Rainy. Rainy's like, don't worry, I'll do the formal stuff for us. <laughs> Good job, Rainy. And then, go. <laughs> we might want to go. <laughs> Good girl. Sit. Good. There you go. Good. <laughs> maybe for some more water. Oh, <laughs> maybe she's thirsty. <laughs> she's so funny. Come, come here, Poppy. Come, come Poppy. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, she's a natural. Good girl. Good, there you go. Okay, come. Good job. I know, you have to get up with there. <laughs> Thanks. You want to come up too? Yeah, you can come up too. <laughs> Almost. There you go. Almost. <laughs> Rainy's like, I got it. We tried, I tried to keep the parking. Perfect. There you go. This would be a great, great way for you because she's so, so good with it. Sometimes it just helps to have a target that they have to actually physically be on and off of to start with, and then you just wean off of it. Okay, come. Good job. There you go. There you go. So it's natural for her, that's good. Yeah, she took that to like, like second nature pretty much. And what I do is like I'll start them here and I'll ask them to stay and then I'll progressively move further and further. <laughs> I do this with puppies a lot because when they build a good positive association with that area, even when I take them somewhere new and I put it down, they're like, oh, if I go back there, it'll be good for treats. So it just helps with that recall. Come puppy. Nice. Good girl. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, some of them actually come with shades too, and just being elevated helps with airflow. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. it's coming to the <laughs> But yeah, some of them actually come with like shade canopies and things like that. Um, this one I got specifically because it's portable, it folds up. She, I love Wait. the brand, Rustwear. Have you heard of Rustwear? Yeah, I think they've made uh, harnesses that I've seen before. Yeah. Good girl, come. <laughs> this one's like me too. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're just exploring. <laughs> Good girl. Yes, come. Hello. Good girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Good girl. Uh oh. You need me to go in there and untangle her for you? Okay. You could probably take off her lead too <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll undo hers for you. It's quiet enough in this street. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> it's understandable. Well, that would help really a lot with the recall then, because what I'll do is I'll be walking with them, and then I'll let them go up ahead, and then I'll put it down, and call them back to it, and then call them back to it, and then you just eventually just call them and go, okay. When you go to the beach, I noticed she'll take off and run after another dog. Yeah. Which I have really good taste, and she'll come back. There you go. Um, and then after, like, I get them used to it and practice in, like, a... Um, not so distracting environment, I'll actually take this to like the dog park too. And you'll see in some other of my videos, the dogs will come back to it, they'll play, and then I'll recall them back to it, and then I'll release them to play again. And that's what we're kind of going over a little bit inside. And that just takes practice too. A lot of the times, especially with like those high energy situations and the social, district, uh, the social distractions, you have to really get practice with them engaging and disengaging, engaging and disengaging. A lot of times we have that expectation really high, even though like they will nine times out of 10 listen to us. But then when they're distracted by another dog, they don't. And it's just because we don't get enough practice with them actually being distracted by another dog and then having to listen, right? <laughs> so glad that you brought Poppy. Yeah, I think we would have been just fine with Rainy, but it's all working out. It gives Rainy a little break, too. <laughs> so in this case, go ahead and try to call her back to it. Okay. Here you go. Oh, hello. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> the hardest part is when they're engaged in running. So usually when I am even at the dog park, I'll wait until there's like a lull in the action uh -huh. and then I'll take advantage of that. Okay, Rainy, come. Good girl, come on, Poppy. Rainy. Good girl, sit. That's good. Yeah. Rainy. <laughs> I think, there Rainy. we go. Come here, girl. Rainy. Rainy. Hi, come. Come here, Rainy. There come. you go, perfect. Good girl. Good. Here you go, Willow. Here you go, Willow. Oh, you got it? Nice. Perfect. Good girl, Rainy. So that's what I mean, getting them used to running around, playing, and then coming back and listening, Hello. and then releasing again. Okay. One for me, one for mom. <laughs> there you go. Good girl, Rainy. <laughs> I know Rainy, you're a good girl. Come on, get some over here. Good girl, you pee pee. Oh. Good girl, there you go, perfect. Had a feeling that was gonna be necessary. You get that like sixth sense after you've been with puppies for so long <laughs> that it's like, they're gonna probably need to go. Yeah, she went right as, as soon as we got outside. Perfect. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> and he's like, come on. I'm here. I'm sitting here. Good girl, Poppy. 
Yeah, she gets hot really fast. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's understandable, especially in this uh, heat. So like a, a kitty pool, you know, $10 at PetSmart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that way it's it's not too expensive for you to try out because my dogs, they just use it as like a big water bowl. <laughs> they don't they don't care too much for the water, but I know this one loves to run in, splash in it, lay down, all that good stuff. Good girl, Great. good sit. Like, this water dirty. is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she doesn't like dirty water. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Here, just go to the, go to the sink and just Get a new one. Oh, oh, fill this up again. <laughs> Hi, she's got to she's got to learn to drink out of a puddle and she she drinks <laughs> uh, toilet water. <laughs> Willow. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's falling in the water. Good girl, Poppy. Please. Good. Wait. Okay, come. And you can do little exercises like that. And then you just get better at it. You get them, either make them wait longer or you move further away or you throw a ball, you make them wait, you know, you add in distractions, you make it harder, but you always start easy yeah. and then you just build from there. Good girl. Oh, she's doing great with her. Her pup seems to be doing great. Because the breeder did a lot of the training prior to her. Makes sense. The the good breeders will do that for sure. I'm always surprised when like people. <laughs> Did you my mom tell you about the fence? Oh no, we were talking about the breeder and the training. I was saying that she's doing really good. Oh, she, uh, she, she lays on the fence when she's too hot. So <laughs> she immediately ran in. Oh, poor thing. Like, we're done. <laughs> good girl. Well, that's. I think that this is a good play thing, and I like the idea of the puppy play group at Dogtopia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just get her evaluated and stuff. That would be a good way, and um, we'll do like a actual small dog park sometime. Because then it's good to have free alternatives when they get to meet other dogs and actually be outside, and you can work with them at a dog park. Whereas if you drop her off at daycare, you can't really, you know, do any of these exercises. But it'd be good for her to run and play while you're, you know, at the amusement park or grocery shopping or things like that. Very good. <laughs> uh, Willow, would you please come out here? Good. Wait. She's laying Now go ahead and have her wait and then call her back to you off of it. Wait. Yep. And then slowly move back. Stay, stay, Rain, stay. Almost. So have her sit again. Good. There you go. There you go. Now go ahead. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Poppy. And that's how you would work on extending that discipline, right? <laughs> Poppy. So you can kind of see there what I mean about the movement. She's jumped up because your hand was moving and she was following it. Whereas if you just put it down. She used to be really good when I was practicing. <laughs> I, told, I told her, I said, I'm paying you to go to school and you're skipping. <laughs> Hello, come here. It's so a good part about puppies too, is like they have that burst of energy, even though it's like a really high burst, mm -hmm. it's still just a burst and then they recover and then you relax when they recover. Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. This is good social. Come on, Willow. Mm -hmm. Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. You need to get up here. Come on, Willow. Good socialization and it just, it's a good positive way to get that energy out. <laughs> Willow. Come here, Poppy. There you go. Come on. She's distracted by me. <laughs> Willow, come. Come here. Good girl. Girl, bless you. Poppy, come. There you go, Poppy. <laughs> here, I'll get Poppy for you. Come here, Poppy. There you go. There you go, good. <laughs> there you go. Good. Good girl. Running out of food. <laughs> oh, good girl, Bobby. <laughs> the, the dogs that love trees are always some of the easiest to train, but I've trained dogs before just off of balls or sticks. It just really like 
what what gets them motivated and focused. You can kind of tell with these guys. They're like treat. I don't have any more. I need to go get some more. Here, I'll let you work with her. Oh, thank you. Oh. I want to ask you a question about um, my dad was asking for me to help him with an electric fence or mm -hmm. something like that. What he was saying, hey, take Willow out to the, to the edge of the lawn mm -hmm. so she can feel it. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> what I usually do is I tone train them first. So I have a collar that just beeps and vibrates. And if they start getting close to the fence line, I'll beep it and then I'll recall them back in. Because some electric fences, or the good ones at least, they'll, they'll give an auditory tone before they get shocked. And so that way they, they learn that when they hear that beep to come back in instead of getting shocked. And then you can use the actual, t uh, actual you know, consequence if they ignore the beep and then keep walking forward. So I would do it that way. <laughs> Cause like I said, I'm very positive forward and I wanted to like teach them what it means and where to go. Cause you have to be really careful because especially with um, some clients will or, um, kind of do it the wrong way where they'll just kind of like shock a dog. And if the dog doesn't know what to do when that happens and they get scared, you can actually, instead of them staying in, it can cause them to run out, yeah. So that's why I try to teach them what to do on the beep and everything where when they start to see the flag and come back instead of the shock. But then if they start stepping towards it, it'll automatically do it for you. So you're really just trying to help them avoid it. That's all. And we can do a session on that too. Especially with Shire pups too, you only you only really need corrections after you've trained them right from wrong, and then they decide to do yeah. Because then they they need that negative consequence to help influence their personal decisions. But if you don't teach them first, you're not really giving them a choice to make. And that's the thing, like especially with puppies, we want them to learn to make the right choices over and over again. And that way you don't always have to micromanage them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably. There's something smelling back there. <laughs> so, is there a hose on your mom? Yeah, there's a hose on the side of the house. <laughs> Where did you spray? Oh, this is all filthy. <laughs> We're going to need a spray down here. So, with your little one on, I would put everybody else on leash too, so that way we could physically redirect if necessary. <laughs> or, what are you doing? Or at least, um, or at least uh, Willow. Yeah. Willow. Willow, come. Willow. <laughs> Willow. Here's Rainy. Rainy. Come here. There you go. She's looking for you. There you go. Here she comes. So you can see she heard your voice, but she couldn't see you. <laughs> Willow. Me. <laughs> there you go, good. <laughs> Is your husband here? Could he help you with one pup? Oh, uh, gotcha. Oh. Here she comes. There you go, perfect. Good catch. Rainy, you're gonna go spray down with the hose. <laughs> with Rainy, you can see the dirt. With Willow, you can't. <laughs> I'll see it on the floor. Aww. <laughs> good girl, Poppy. Yes, good girl. There you go, good. <laughs> and you can tell with other pups around, it's easier to help, you know, disengage because 
because Will and I actually has other pups to engage to, whereas it's almost extra hard before because that's your, you know, her only friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> and I'll send you guys a link to the video too later when it's done, so that way you can you can watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good girl. Gentle puppy. There you go. Good girl. Yeah, some trainers use it to kind of reaffirm the yes and no's. Um, some trainers use it to help get the attention because of the sound. It just depends on how you use it. It's just, uh, to me, it's another good form of like um, a sound that they like, kind of like a squeaky toy or things like that. Just building, because I like to build positive associations with things. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Oh. <laughs> now you want to walk. I used the clicker to teach her how to train. Oh, perfect. But I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I use this kind because it's both a whistle and a clicker. Oh, cool. Hi. Can I see it? Sure. What's that? Good girl. Who knows that sound? <laughs> oh, good job. You're doing so good. Look at you being nice and calm. Don't don't eat her thing. <laughs> so you grew up in Fairfax? Yeah. Where, did you go to Fairfax High School? Oh no, I went to uh, Herndon High. Herndon. So that's further out from DC. Oh, uh, it was about like I think. 30 or 40 minutes or so. Very good. Good girl. You got treats? Oh, yeah, Here you go. Good girl. Poppy. I know. Good girl. You wouldn't have to eat your dinner. <laughs> Very good. There you go. Hi, kitty. <laughs> but now she's doing a lot better. You can kind of see after you get a lot of that energy mm -hmm. out, it's yeah. It's a lot easier to redirect, too. There you go. Okay. Very good. Good. Willow. Hey, you go. Oh, yeah, no problem. What's that? Yeah, she's doing much better. Good girl. Sit. Like Art said, you know, the first couple of days was really rough after you left. Aww. And um, the tone is different. I think it's my attitude too. It it's could... like less screaming. <laughs> yeah. Willow, Willow, you know, the one that you taught me. Mm -hmm. It could be difficult. Like there's generally, there's a time and place for um, reprimand and consequences, but it's, for me, it's always after I made sure that I take the, the time to properly explain and they know what to do that's right and wrong. Well, she, that was really good. She's been tethered to me for, I mean, she, after you left, she's been with me like all the time, which is rather exhausting. <laughs> oh, I know. I have a, I don't know. I might have it still in the car. I have a backpack <laughs> that I used to use as well. It, it helps. It really does, especially with like the really young puppies where you, you have to constantly supervise them or else they'll get into trouble. <laughs> the good catch. <laughs> good girl. There you go. Good. Very good. That was really good. Yeah, I think it would be okay. It's like the hardest part is definitely getting that energy out and mm -hmm. getting her play. Right. So then she can be nice and calmer around your older one. 
That was good though, but it's definitely possible. <laughs> I'll let mom do it. Good, then just keep your hand down. Perfect, Poppy. Good.